I think poker and bingo did a lot for mm. um, the social sort of acceptance or, you know, just creating verticals that, um, you know, that people found socially acceptable. But you've got to remember that, you know, there's always been scratch cards. There's always been national mm. lotteries. There's always been what the public perceive as socially acceptable forms of gambling. It's, I think now the problem that the government see is they see a huge growth in uh, casino, uh, online casino, and, and also um, to an extent sports betting. Uh, and, and this is, uh, you know, what they would, uh, you know, interpret to be uh, bad gambling. So, I mean, it, yeah. it's interesting what societies draw on, on on different things. I mean, certainly you can see from Swedish regulation that casino is the root of all evil, but... Um, yeah. Uh, if you were in the UK, again, it's still very socially acceptable to play casino. It's very socially acceptable to bet on sports. It's a very common hobby. Most of the friends I know uh, will at least have one sort of fun football bet at the weekend while they're watching the, the game in the pub or something. So, uh, yeah, it, it's it's it, it's it's a uh, frustrating to see how some of the yeah. new social sort of stigmas are around it, but at the same time you can you can understand it when there's a, when there's a media that's against it or perhaps certain politicians that want to uh, make an agenda around it. It's usually the root cause of the <laughs> this type of sentiment. <laughs>